So here we are, right outside Camilla, Georgia. We're at the Covey Rise Plantation, and we're here to do some quail hunting. Yes, sir. I don't know if you've ever seen bird dogs work, but man, if you haven't, you need to check it out. It is amazing how good these dogs are. Everybody knows I like pulling the trigger, right? That's my first double. Waiting on Tombo, hasn't, hasn't showed up yet. I don't like getting up at 4.30, didn't have to do that. I think he might be sleeping, that's just a rumor. I might have to rethink my career path. So he's sleeping in and I, I guess he's gonna maybe make the afternoon hunt. I still think I hit that one. Yeah, I felt, I felt good on that shot. Did I call it? But if it happens quick. How much fun are we having? Yeah! Oh! He's hammered. <laughs> Welcome to South Georgia. We are here with our friends from Caldwell. They invited us on a quail hunt, which I've only done once, but I enjoyed it. So I'm looking forward to this. Today, we're, our, our hunt starts tomorrow, but we're gonna practice a little bit with the, uh, the Claymore from Caldwell. And this thing is phenomenal. All right, tell me, who, who designed, who came up with the idea for the, the flurry? Yeah, so there's a lot of us at work that uh, are competitive shooters. We've shot our whole lives, and um, electronic clay throwers, a lot of times they're good for one thing, trap or skeet. And there's like side games where there'll be flurries where you'll shoot uh, targets nonstop, and two guys will be reloading nonstop trying to shoot it. So oh, wow. we wanted to do something that did it, did it all. So we were able to come up with the single shot mode or the flurry mode. So the end user has tons of versatility what they can use this trap for. That's cool, man. Now, so not only is it green, because there's no electricity, it's all human powered. The clays are biodegradable. It's a win-win for everybody. Cool. Cool. I'm done. <laughs> Yep. I didn't say I couldn't shoot, I just don't. <laughs> so to our surprise, a very good surprise, Fred Eichler, one of the legends in our, in our industry, showed up with his son, Trent, and man, what a, what a pleasure it was to spend a couple of days with those guys. And I'm like, and he took off, so I couldn't go. That's my dad. Oh, that, old, that old guy's my dad. And I'm like, oh my gosh! And he just and he walked out. You never know what people are going to be like. You just see them on TV, right? You don't know if that's the way they are in real life. But what you see on TV with Fred is exactly how he is in person. He's a goofball like me and has a great time and uh, doesn't take him take himself too serious. And I think that's a that's a big plus.
Got a boar. Ah, one for two. That was 100% self-defense. Uh, this is on the record. I, you're, I'm your witness. Yeah, it that came thing, right at you. It me. was coming at you <laughs> with, with malintent. A lot of things about hunting is timing. And uh, when I say we hit this perfect, like last week it was 85 degrees. Well, we show up and it's absolutely perfect weather. Highs in the low 70s and uh, just nailed it. Couldn't, couldn't have gone better. Jared, how's uh, Tom Bud doing? For a deer hunter, I think he's holding his own. <laughs> You know, I'm a rut. You tell you grew up in in the in, in the backwoods, in a rural area. That's right. They, they're still hitting with a shotgun. <laughs> Got that from his mom, I think. <laughs> Mom's side of the family. Definitely. She's a hillbilly from Kentucky. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't shoot that rabbit that ran by, just out of instinct. <laughs> you know. It's like these dogs know the point. You just, just shoot. You know to shoot. Yeah, birds. man. Yeah. It depends on where we're at and who we're with. Jeez. She'll do it for the whole time you think. Crazy. I don't know why. She needs medication. I know. That's Crazy dog. She needs some Adderall. <laughs> yeah. That, that cross shot's a tough one for me, man. The way they like to do it, you know, you know, they're, we're all in the Jeep. It's kind of like a, you know, a raised up back seat, whatever. And uh, the dog box on the back, these Jeeps are extended, so they're super long. They uh, usually, they'll take four dogs at a time. And like one, our Brandon, one of our guides, like to switch dogs every, every cover, every, you know, every different spot, which keeps them kind of rested and watered and all that stuff. Got him on the second one. Get that sucker. Man's work is never done, Benny. Yes, sir. Huh? That was a long shot, dude. Pretty happy about that one, Benny. So I'm by no means am I, I'm not even an, an avid wing shooter. That, that'd be saying a lot. But first morning we go out, you know, I've made all the excuses I could make for not shooting well, but I ended up shooting pretty good. That's my first double. double. My first double. double. Yes. Hey, we, we did pretty good as a team there. I won and out. <laughs> one for one, year two for two. That's, That's right. Great. Take it to the house. Championship. So this is the end of our, our morning hunt on the first day. We still got an afternoon hunt today and a morning hunt in the morning. This is Jared with Caldwell, one of our buddies, and he invited us up here. Hopefully this won't be the last time he, that he invites me somewhere. I just gotta watch my P's and Q's. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, I need somebody to hit the birds for him. <laughs> <laughs> He's wanting me to throw baseballs at him. I told him I don't do that anymore. That was a, that was a part-time job that I did for 20 years. Now I'm on to my next career. I think we could have got a few today. I think so too. Even with a bad shoulder, I think I could have hit one or two of them. We're gonna take some pictures and go get some lunch and then come back and do it again this afternoon. We're gonna switch up hunters, switch up guides. I should have saved Brandon for the for the afternoon hunt, but that's that's me being a rookie. It's my fault. <laughs> that's a good point. You know, people you always say that to people that miss, like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I tell you, I've been working on my excuses for weeks now, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's too close. I was too far. Damn, the half the birds he shot was inside 10 feet. It went, it went right to left, and I, you know, I only hit Quit. left to right. Ready to roll.
Yes, sir. This is cool. All those feathers just coming around. Oh, yeah. You can see a smoke that's... Vinny's got some, he's got some great shots from this morning, too, man. Tom, but what happened? I was filming the bird and nothing, I heard, didn't hear a boom. Oh, it's because I put a suppressor on here. You can't hear it. Get him, Matt. Okay. Yes. Okay. You're back in my good graces. Yeah, we having fun? Oh man, having so much fun. This morning was awesome. Got to go back to camp, have a nice lunch, and uh, now I get to shoot with this guy this afternoon. The loose cannon. <laughs> yeah. First one was too close. How is that thing still flying? <laughs> Thanks for backing me up, Gus. Oh boy. I might as well not even shoot the first time. I should just go bang and then shoot the second time. Keep rolling, rolling. On your head? I am. Talk about how now you have to wear the dunce cap. Yeah, I feel like Benny just put me in time out because I got the dunce cap on. I don't know what I did wrong, but I did something. I'll keep the dunce hat on for a minute. <laughs> Give me some. Ah! Oh, nice. a double, double. Nice. Double, double, and then a double show. Heck yeah. I don't want this day to end. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm having a freaking blast. Go. Oh, yes. Well, the morning was went really, really well. So I didn't expect this afternoon to be that good. Well, it's been better. But it also helps to have a, a solid gun. Uncle John, this is Uncle John's gun. Passed away and left this to Benny. And funny thing is, I shot it before Benny did. So, so that's an honor, man. So when it comes from family members, it's even more, more special than buying it yourself. Whoa, whoa. Matt? Good yes, shot. sir. That a boy. Good shot. You got it. Well, that's the one y'all he just shot. Well, the one I did, huh? <laughs> How'd we do? 43. I mean, it's not last place, but it's not daggum first either. <laughs> <laughs> my kind of party right here dude oysters beer trash talking but uh we had a great day 
Yeah, it's just getting better. I mean, they got a cooler full of oysters, beer. I mean, there would be some good food. And uh, this is the type of days that you wish you could have more of. Good try. But who knows? Hey, maybe we can come back here and do this again. Just like Mama taught you. There you go. Dang, that's oh, good. One, huh? Oh, that's good. Redneck and fellers. That's right. And they're shucking another tray off. Oh. You beat us by one this afternoon. Um, oh. I will say, Matt you would have beat us by more had we not had one dog rip that was, like we dropped some that should have just been like, uh, you ain't getting that. <laughs> dog go bring it back to us. Um, so the dogs are the all-stars, The really. dog is this. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, they, they know how to hustle that. Yeah, they they're do. the pros. Waiting on Tombo, hasn't, hasn't showed up yet. I think he might be sleeping, that's just a rumor. You know, and I, I try not to pass on rumors about people, but I guess he thinks rules don't apply to him. So he's sleeping in, and I, I guess he's gonna maybe make the afternoon hunt. Not a morning hunter, obviously. <laughs> he said he would go to bed at 4 a.m. and he'd be up at 4.45, but I think he meant 4.45 p.m. So. <laughs> just in time for that early bird special, you know? <laughs> with the senior discount. <clears throat> you had him yesterday afternoon, right? Yeah, yeah. I think I wore him out. I walked him too much. <laughs> <laughs> and I heard they walk with guys that they don't get along with, the guys that they think are jerks. They do the same thing we do in Colorado. They just walk them to death. So apparently he got wore out. So I'm not saying anything, but they walked him a long ways. Ta-da. By the way, I'm not happy with you. <laughs> I, knew you I knew you threw me under the bus. Always late. Damn cameraman's always late. I've been walking around this place for an hour looking for him. We might not be back. I don't know. Benny, you can stay here. All right. Y'all have fun. Uh, the guy's been yelling at me all morning. Well, you run So every hunt, we hunted with a different person. And uh, the la this morning was uh, my turn to hunt with Trent, which is Fred's son. And uh, I hope this kid can shoot because I can't do it all by myself. Hey, kid. I mean, it, yeah, you can't be upset about that start. Oh, boy. First one usually doesn't go well. I don't know why. You never know how, how people are gonna be until you meet them in person. And I'm a, a huge Eichler fan, except for Trent. He like he doesn't miss. He's you know, he's he's beautiful, he's smart. I mean just ask him, he'll tell you. He won't let me shoot any birds. And you know, I shot one right right off the get-go. He's like, oh I got that one. I still think I hit that one. <laughs> I'm telling you, I felt I felt good on that shot. Did we either shot at the same time? Did we shoot? Not even close. You earned the, the credit on that. <laughs> Let's go kill some more birds. Is there. I did it. Got you guys point. saw it, right? Yeah. OK. Just making sure. Pretty sure I shot all one shot. Oh, you almost got him. And you got him. Good shot. Dude, I want to catch him. Was, dude, you were, you were literally, <laughs> this, oh, hey, you were this far away. I'm not on the ground. Oh, I'm not going to shoot. Now you shoot. Oh, oh, look at that. Put the gun down, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, I was out of ammo. I had one shot. You turd. <laughs> High percentage shot.
Yeah, I'm good at 10 feet. Oh my. That counts as a double. That counts as a double, yeah. That was one. Good job. Dude. Hey, we got the entire, entire group. Look how pretty those things are though, man. And they taste phenomenal. This is God's grocery store we're in right now. Cool birds, man. Fred, no offense to any of the other guys in camp. So what? I, I had the best time with that kid. Did y'all yeah, have a blast? we had a blast, dude. He pretty fun, what? isn't he? Yeah, a little right. smack talk on the shooting. Oh, oh he was on, oh, hey, yeah. he was on fire, dude. Was he? He's yeah, a pretty got, good shot. Well, we just wrapped up a couple days with the Caldwell guys. Probably one of the funnest day and a half I've ever had in camp. And, uh, and when I say a day and a half, it was, but it was a full day and a half. We were always doing something, you know, shooting clays or, you know, heading to the, the next stand or eating lunch or dinner or just hanging out and talking. To, to pack that much fun in a day and a half is pretty tough, but they did it. And we had an absolute blast.